Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Dual Destinies, y'all. We're at a recess. It is trial day two. Man, some shit's about to go down, I feel, and it's probably going to be long because there's no way that we are going to bring LaBelle up to the podium now and get him in like one cross examination. It ain't going to happen, but I really need to see what's going to happen here because I need to know. We did it, Apollo. We finally dragged Mr. LaBelle into court. I know it's taken this long, right? Yeah. Paula, you don't seem too jazzed about it. What's the matter? Hey, why the long face? I, I can't help but feel like I'm missing something important. What? Are, are we missing something? Like what? Plus, Prosecutor Blackwell's bound to mount a counterattack. Oh! <laughs> How serendipitous that you would use the word bound and mount in the same sentence regarding him. I just, I'm just saying. It's a little bit of fate. You really are a worrywart, aren't you? It'll be fine. That mystery figure who opened the Forbidden Chamber for Mr. Felch? Had to have been Florent LaBelle. I don't know. I'm starting to feel like it was reversed, but like, uh, it's still too early to tell because I don't know what kind of lies he's about to be spitting. It could be anything. I know, but that's not what's bugging me. I wish I could put my finger on it though. <laughs> me too. Wait, what are we talking about again? At any rate, the big showdown with Mr. LaBelle's up next, so chin up, Apollo. Yeah, 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 we've got, we've got to put our best poker face on, like, regardless. Even if we suck, right? And that's how we've done it so far. That's what we have to do. Okay, well, I can only imagine what's going to happen when we get him up on the stage, right? Because it's going to be nothing but fippy-fappy and a bunch of lies. Oh my god, the Joker's here, everyone! Oh, shit! Where's Batman? Oh, Judge, what are we gonna do? Court is back in session, our next witness is... Oh, he's on the damn phone. Man, shut that shit off, man. This is a courtroom. Man, Judge Judy would never fucking fall for this bullshit, all right? I'm just saying, call her ass up. Get her on that phone. You used to call me on your shoulder phone. <laughs> this, this is so stupid. What is that green mop you've got? I don't like it. He literally just looks like a Joker. <laughs> Ah, we. Oui. I'm acting on behalf of the mayor in this very important matter. It seems the witness is predisposed at the moment. Man, bang, bang, bang the fucking gavel, man. Throw the hammer down. Get this fool out of court. Man, judge, this is half your fault for not doing anything about it. Uh huh. Surely you just. I will hold you to your promise. Remember that. Well, I can't wait to really offend all of the country of France by voicing this guy for the next two hours. Sorry, France. I'm sorry. Oh, my deepest apologies. This is Florence LaBelle, personal aide to Mayor Tenma, or should I say, the accused. I like how you had a smile on your face when you said it. Not guilty at all, right? Ouch, like the poor mayor hasn't suffered enough. I know. Well, what business do you have with me? I mean, no one could ever talk in a court like this and get away with it. I'm a very busy man, so let's make this as brief as possible. No one wants to talk about your briefs. What about you? Are you going to put him into shape? Like, what, are you going to whip him into shape? Because you didn't seem like you liked him either. We, we need your help on this. Well, we got to work together. I feel your boldness. Uh, all right. Uh -huh. Mr. Filch's testimony has revealed a hole in your alibi. No, no, no. We're not talking about any of his holes today. I, I forbid it. And for this reason, you are suspected of having some sort of connection with the case at hand. To think I'd be associated with this entirely lurid affair. You know, your, your shoulders is going off. You want to put those on silent, maybe? Well, I'm not. So may I go now? I have very important matters to attend to. Objection. Shout it out, Apollo, even though it's going to do nothing. We know it. I don't think so, Mr. LaBelle. Do you realize what a serious crime you've committed? I doubt that he does. Witness, you are being accused of perjury. This is your chance to clear the air. Man, I'm accusing him of more than that. Fine. The truth is, I faked my alibi for a very good reason. The mayor was obviously the killer, so I created a fake alibi to confuse the matter. You see, as his personal aide, I felt I had to protect him. Sorry! <laughs> hey, shut your joker ass mouth, will ya? You think this is funny? I don't know, it is a little bit wacky, isn't it? Like, in a funny way. Without your alibi, you're a suspect, too. 
What were you really doing at the time of the crime? Oh, peasants, how dare you accuse me, one of the beautiful people! Uh, uh, oh, get him, Athena! Don't even let him speak. Stop stalling and tell the court what you were really doing at the time of the crime. Silence. What the fuck? Man, yo, skunk boy, can you hang on here? You'll have your chance. Maybe he's Batman. It could, it, I could see it. Maybe that's what it is. Oh, shit, though, that means we're Robin. Oh, no. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Enough jabbering. Swords have been drawn. The time for talk has passed. Swords? What swords? <laughs> Psst, Apollo. He's talking about the ones in your pants, duh. We'd get with the program. This is a duel to the death. The fate of accused rests in our hands. Be gone, ye of cowardly heart. The battlefield has no place for you. Did he just break his chains again? Again? Oh my. Oh, spare me, please! Oh, this has already become a circus again. With that foppy clown right in the middle, eh? Oh, Jesus, what are we gonna do? So much for sturdier shackles. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. I mean, we kinda knew, didn't we? Oh, brother. Those chains hindered my vow that heads would rule this day. This gives keeping your head on in court a whole new meaning. Can we stop saying the word head right now? I'm very distracted. I'm trying to concentrate here. Will the witness please deliver the accused death knell? You know of what I speak. Ah, <laughs> most certainly. His goose is already cooked. Time to stick a fork in him. Wait, what are we talking about again? Wait, can we, can we not do that? Whatever he has to say can't be good. As I told Prosecutor Blackwell during the recess, I rushed right over to the fox chamber when I heard little Jinxie scream. I somehow doubt that that happened. Like wholeheartedly doubt that that happened. <laughs> what? Zen, drumo, please. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing shit for you, ma'am. I saw Mayor Tenma opening the forbidden chamber doors. But, 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 but. <laughs> There you have it. Oops, you're not French. The mystery man who opened the chamber door, as witnessed by one Phineas Filch. It was the accused. There was never any third party. You know, we can't, we cannot base anything on what that stupid raccoon guy said. Are you serious? He's lied like three times. We should just throw out his whole thing. That's what a real court would, that's what Judge Judy would do. Oh, and that's not all. I heard something quite startling there at the scene of the crime. What? <clears throat> I can only imagine what it was. Startling sounds bad. Would you drop your pants? The mayor, who is barely conscious, muttered this. Forgive me, Jinxie. I killed the alderman. What? I hate this scene, though. It's so sad. He did not say that. Stop. That's right. The mayor actually confessed to the murder right then and there. That did not happen. Are you serious? Everyone's just gonna all right, like automatically believe that crap? I don't know if Simon does. He's just sitting there smiling. I can't tell what's up with him. Oh God, here we go with the rabble. I don't believe that for a minute. No way. Order, order in the court. This is quite conclusive testimony if it stands. Yet if. Just so, quite astonishing I might add. I only learned of this fact during the recess. <laughs> I just love surprises, don't you? No. <clears throat> Not really. Not these kind of surprises, sir. That's why I saved the best for last. Consider it a gift from me to you. I don't want it. You can take it back. No way. I don't believe Mr. LaBelle heard the mayor confess. Yeah, me neither. But, but is this really true? Did Mayor Tenma really confess? That's what we gotta find out. It is indeed. During that last recess, I confirmed it with the mayor's daughter. No, you fucking didn't. It would seem Mayor Tenma actually did confess. Hmm. That testimony is quite favorable to the prosecution's... Oh, shit. Can you stop? Yo, can... What are you doing? Are you like an Uber driver or some shit? This is LaBelle. Yes, I called earlier about the party reservations. That's right, and I'll be calling my little shindig Mayor Tenma's Conviction Gala. Wow, how empathetic of you. You know, it's only the guy that you served. A splendid time is guaranteed for all, all but the man his defense. <laughs> what 
What an asshole. Well, it seems our witness is a very busy man. Let's get right to his testimony. What? God, Judge, this is all your fault for not having more balls. Mr. LaBelle, please tell us what you saw when you came upon the scene of the crime. Oh, I can't wait for this. You guys, I'm sure, without a doubt, that it's going to be 100% factual and not uh, leading me on in any way or a waste of my time. <laughs> Anybody want to take that bet with me? <clears throat> I'm going to say no. Nobody. I was in the hallway, hiding in the shadows. That's when I heard the confession. Upon learning of her father's crime, little Jinxie fled without ever noticing me. Bullshit, though. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice. That did not happen. Immediately after that, the mayor came to, stood up, and opened the forbidden chamber. How was he going to do that? Now, how the hell would he do that if he was already hurt, though? As I ran in terror, the demon emerged from his prison. In shock, I fled down to the hallway to my right. Someone with the phone at the end. How would you have ran down there, though? You would have, you'd have seen Jinxie from there. She was right at the stairs. Oh, he's lying for sure. But I, I found, there's like three giant gaping glory holes in that. Man, I must say this is a shocking revelation. The only thing shocking is that everybody believes this crap right off the bat. I mean, that would never happen in a real court. Quite unexpected. To think the defendant actually confessed then and there to the crime. I don't believe that for a second. But I guess that's what we're going with right now, so we're going to have to see where it leads. Perhaps the guilt was too much to bear, so he confided in his daughter. You do realize you should not have withheld such crucial testimony from the court. Ah, <laughs> once again, sorry. It's just, I feared being accused if I mentioned coming upon that most unpleasant scene. Oh, why did the mayor's confession have to be brought up by this guy? I don't know. We better do something before the judge declares the mayor guilty. You got nothing to say over there, skunk? As a death row inmate once told me in years gone by, there is a time to fight and a time to yield. A time to live and a time to... Man, that's a fucking song! He didn't tell you nothing. <laughs> He's laying it on real thick now. You gotta know when to hold him. Know when to fold him. Right, Judge? You know this. Know when to walk away. Come on, Judge. That's your error right there. It's that's even before me. <laughs> the defense may now cross-examine the witness. Oh, can I? <laughs> may I? <laughs> I cannot get that fucking quote out of my head. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What LaBelle saw. It's all bullshit is what it is. I'm going to press everything. And I th honestly, I think the third and I think the last statement are the ones that I really want to get into. I was in the hallway hiding in the shadows. That's when I heard the confession. But I'm still going to see what we can get out of him for it. You claimed the mayor confessed to his daughter. Are you sure about that? Peasant, you wouldn't dare ask such a question if you truly understood. True beauty is never wrong. What are you talking about? It's not? What does that even mean? No. Beauty is carved deep in the DNA. Ah, oh, beauty stored in the DNA. Okay. That means I'm programmed to always be right, even when I'm wrong. <laughs> God, that, remember, that reminds me of that Family Guy episode where Peter gets the fucking plastic surgery and he becomes beautiful and, like, there's no consequence. He's like, all oh, those people were in front of me. You haven't been beautiful very long, have you? <laughs> I'm not following. These exquisite ears like flowers abloom. These eyes that shine like pearls. Sir, have you looked at yourself? You are not that hot, all right? You actually, you're kind, you're kind of, there's a point where you go past hot and get into scary territory, and that's where you're at right now. You look like some kind of freaky ass mannequin. It goes too far. You gotta have some imperfection to be truly beautiful, all right? That's my hot take. It's this hair like the finest silk, nothing can corrupt the truth they hold. That has nothing to do with court. God, if Judge Judy got a hold of this dude. Hmm, the witness will hurry up and explain the truth of his. Specifically, what did Jinxie Tema do upon hearing the confession? Really? Even the judge has had enough. Upon learning of her father's crime, little Jinxie fled without ever noticing me. Now, I don't think that's true at all. If you were there, she would have seen you. How did Miss Tema appear to you? Oh, the poor little thing seemed positively heartbroken, artillery-eyed and whatnot. I couldn't help but shed a few tears myself after seeing her like that. 
He actually sympathized with Jinxie? Seems like an overly human emotion for him. I bet he can't even cry. I bet he's had way too much surgery. You know, that happens, you know? Yeah, because he's the only real monster we've seen so far in looks and in character. <laughs> Dragon, Polly, you got it. So next thing I did was check my face in the mirror. Oh, because you didn't want your mascara to run, right? I, I've seen it. Check your face, why? To behold the beauty that is my sadness, why else? Oh my god, stop. Apollo, I'm starting to lose all faith in humanity. Boy, that's a mood. I know the feeling, but hang in there. At least keep faith in our client. We got this, we got this. Let's keep this moving, shall we? What happened next? I haven't seen anything yet that I really want to go for. Immediately after that, the mayor came to, stood up and opened the video. I don't believe this one for a bit. Hold it. There's got to be something here. He opened the forbidden chamber, but why would he do that? Who knows? Maybe he wanted to freeze a demon, Tamataro. You know, dude, shut up. The courtroom is no place for fairy tales. Remember, you are under oath. Fair silence, that shit. Ah, uh, bonjour. The bell speaking, yes. I will certainly explore some matter. Toodles. Now, where were we again? You were going to tell us the real reason why the mayor opened the Forbidden Chamber. Ah, oh, we, oui, of course. Wait, get, uh, <laughs> sir! Sir, you need to stop with the phone! Ah, uh, hello, this is LaBelle. Uh, good one, sir. You're an absolute riot. Okay, bye. What the hell? Is that all your Tinder dates or some shit? What's going on here? You were saying? Never mind. I mean, he's just trying to distract you, Apollo. Don't fall for it. This is a waste of time. He's just gonna tell more lies. No, for real. The witness will focus on his testimony, not his phone calls. Finally! Now tell the court what you did after you saw the mayor open the forbidden chamber. Well, after that... Uh-huh. As I ran in terror, the demon emerged from his prison. Hold it! I'm trying to think, too, if we have any evidence that goes against anything he's saying so far. I might have to listen to them again, depending on... What was Mr. Filch like at the time? He was shouting, I can't see, I can't see. He's the curse of Tenmataro. Then he took off running like a madman. That's the only thing I actually believe. He must have been blinded by the sudden light flooding in. Wrong. What do you mean? What? He set eyes upon me. And was thus blinded by my radiant beauty. I don't think so, sir. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know what he's into. So, it was the curse of Florent LaBelle rather than Ten Mataro? Ah, uh, we. Oui. I'm afraid such beauty can be a curse. It's almost criminal. Whatever, man. The only thing criminal here is your ceaseless jabbering. Finally! Can you just slap him or something? Now get on with your testimony. Man, everyone hates you. How does it feel? Oh, forgive me, your darkness. Let's see. Oh, yes. I fled for dear life from Tamataro and... Now, I think this one is actually something we might have. In shock, I fled down the hallway to my right. The one with the phone at the end. Do we have anything... Don't we have something where Jinxie says what she saw? Where is it, though? Do we have that? We do, don't we? Here, the statement. Can I see the details on this? After leaving the scene and calling the police, they passed each other at a bend in the hall as he made for the foyer, as Tamataro was just talking about. He was carrying a staff like implement that jingled. She couldn't call for help because there was no one else in the hall. Do we want to press this or do we want to present this? This is the one that really got me. I knew that we had something that said that she was the only one in there. So I'm doing it. Objection. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Get the hell out of here. Why the heck you lying? Florent LaBelle, you're lying about having witnessed these events from the hallway. <laughs> what on earth do you mean? Yes, care to fill in the rest of us, Mr. Justice? No. Unless that's not a euphemism, then yes. If Mr. LaBelle had really fled down the hall with the phone in it, oh, the music, guys, here we go. He would have crossed paths with Miss Tenma. It's true, though. There really wasn't too many other places to be. What's this? After she discovered the crime scene, she immediately went to call the police. Which is where the phone is. Then after making her call, she went back to the main hallway. Whereupon she encountered the demon yokai or whatever you want to call it. 
yeah, it was there. So either way, no matter when it was, she would have ran into him at some point. As for me, I call it Phineas Filch in a Tenmataro costume. <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys. Excuse me. The encounter happened right here, where the hallways meet. As for Mr. Lavelle, if he had fled here, feigning escape from the yokai imposter, there's no way she wouldn't have seen it. Why, yes, the two would have crossed paths. That's right. Right. Except Miss Temma told us that there was no one else in the hall. In short, Miss Temma did not see you in the hall because you were never really there. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, you flower boy. Wait, stop. Oh, Jesus. A freak out so early. I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> not such a fabulous scent now, is it? Oh, because he, he squeezed the, the stuff in his eyes. Oh, I see. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that sucks. You ever get perfume in your eyes? It's the worst. Mr. Justice, the witness also stated that he heard the mayor confess. If he was lying about hearing the confession from the hall, then where was he when he heard it? Inside the fox chamber. Where else? Hmm. But isn't that within where the very crime scene? The very crime scene? It is. It is, Your Honor. And that means he's not really a witness. Rather, he's the third party I've been alleging this whole time. What? You think I'm Zekila? How dare you? Silence. Get him, Blackwell. Get him. Foolish fop. A true man knows when he is beaten. Oh shit, wait, what? <laughs> a shield of lies comes to naught before a foe with a sword of truth bared. Boy, you are about to samurai Jack his whole life. I mean, if he comes to, for him, I'm here for it. Let's have it. Come on. Prosecutor Black will we'll tell you I thought we were on the same side. Bitch, he ain't on nobody's side. You can tell. He's like a ronin warrior, man. He's all by himself. You are mistaken. There are no sides here. Save for my cold, steely edge of judgment. <laughs> that sounds like a euphemism to me. You are alone upon this battlefield with naught but your lies and sickly sweet perfume. Bro, you don't need that much. Oh my god. You ever been next to a person that sprays that much perfume on them? It's the worst. It's awful. Whoa, what happened? Blackwell's really tearing into him. Oh shit. Take a picture. Put it on your OnlyFans. You heard the mayor's confession from the inside, did you not, you deviant dandy? For the sole location from which you could have seen and heard the mayor and the tanuki, without either of them noticing you, was right there in the fox chamber. So he's agreeing with us. I can't believe that. And that better be some water, because you're sweating so bad. If that's perfume, oh god, you're gonna reek. So that's how it's going to be? Fine. I'll come clean then. I don't believe it. No, he's not. <laughs> we all know he's not gonna do that. Seriously? No, don't get excited. You admit to being there in the fox chamber? We know how this goes. We're not gonna be disappointed. I do. I did enter the room after the murder, but I was afraid of being falsely accused, so I lied about it. I feel terrible about lying like that, but it's a verbal cologne I use to protect myself. What are you talking about, dude? You'd better explain yourself, Mr. LaBelle. Seriously? Uh, Lee, of course. I was just about to get to that. Uh-huh. He ain't gonna get to shit. The witness is skating on thin ice. I'll remind you that perjury is a very serious crime. Now, let's hear your testimony again, this time without your perfume of lies. Nice one, Judge. And the judge doesn't often get to have one. Good for him. I'm glad for him. In the fox chamber. This is all gonna be lies again. I did enter the fox chamber after the murder. But I didn't enter until after Jinxie had heard the confession and left. Bullshit, dude. I heard the mayor groan and hide behind the folding screens there. What I saw there up close, it was absolutely horrifying. So you see, I was there, but merely watching from behind the screen. What? That's it? Wait a minute, there's no way. What the? <sighs> From behind the screen? Why, yes, I believe you wouldn't be spotted if you were there. Just so. He could see everything without being spotted by the victim or that tanuki filch. Suffice to say, he was mere witness to the events rather than actual third party. You don't believe that, do you? Still trying to suss you out. This 
guy's as slippery as an eel. I guess he's just kind of, you know, it, the prosecutor's job in these games is always to kind of push it in a way that you need to see the truth. Apollo, do you think he's telling the truth? Nope. Well, he was in the fox chamber, so at least that much must be true. I didn't see anything really out of there that we could put any evidence to. I guess we're gonna have to press it all, I guess. The defense may cross-examine our slightly voyeuristic witness. Ew, imagine him looking at you during anything. No, thank you. Gosh darn. All right. In the fox chamber. I did enter the fox chamber after the murder. Hold it. Sure you did. Tell me about it. Why in the world would you enter that grisly crime scene? Why? Because I was Lloyd sick. Yeah, I can tell. I can tell by the way you're planning a party. <laughs> you know, to celebrate what's happened. <laughs> May I tell my suit? It... It what? It was designed personally by me. Oh, you do clothing too, do ya? Oh, well, if it's... <laughs> If you're wearing one of your things, I can definitely see why I wouldn't care if it got ruined. I was worried my work of art might get blood on it. This man clearly has his priorities in order. Okay, let's get this over with, shall we? Now, where was I? Oh yes, so I entered the fox chamber almost without thinking. No, I believe that you actually went in without thinking. I believe you do a lot of things without thinking. But I didn't enter until after Jinxie had heard the confession and left. Hold it. Okay, tell me about that. Why didn't you enter right away? And ruin my designer's shoes? What? Oh, who farted? Shit, it wasn't me. Your shoes? Even now, just thinking about getting blood on my fabulous footwear, it sent chills down my spine. That's why I hesitated. I Get him, Athena. Go ahead. That's terrible! A man was dying and another injured and you're worried about your shoes? Silence. What do you mean? That is bad! Need I remind you this is a court of law? We're not teaching morality here. We have schools of etiquette and such for trivial pursuits. Ugh. Now, you listen to me, you deceptive dandy. Get to the point and be quick about it. Yeah, what are you gonna- Yes, well, I was there in the fox chamber, but... I heard the mayor groan and hid behind the folding screen there. Mmm. I need to hear more about all of this, because I'm confused. Wait a second. Why did you hide yourself? Oh my, so you do understand. I- I do? By hiding, I was concealing my fabulous beauty, which for the sake of the universe is something I should never ever do. That's what you were thinking, right? Uh, are you, do you actually think this way? This is ridiculous. I'm sensing a black hole of egocentricity forming around the witness stand. Seriously? We can deliberate his mental process another time. Get on with the testimony, now. Shit. Old Skunky mad, though. Well, regarding the murder scene. What was this one? Oh yeah, what I saw there up close, it was absolutely horrifying. Hold it. What was, though? Tell me about that. Could you describe the crime scene in a bit more detail? <laughs> Could you describe the ruckus, sir? <laughs> I was just in my office and I heard ruckus. And what exactly would you like the details about? Well, what I'd like to ask you about is, oh shoot, um, the feathers and tracks, the forbidden chamber, the murder weapon. That would be interesting because would he know? We already know about the feathers and tracks, right? We already know that the chamber door had been open. Have we heard anything really about this? I'm, a, I'm very tempted to pick this, so I'm going to. Let's see what happens here. Sometimes you can pick all of these and it'll still be okay. I'm not sure if this is one of those times. Could you describe the state of the weapons that had been used at the scene? This will also prove that he was in there and saw it, right? The spear had been thrust all the way through Alderman QB. Ew. Since it was that statue the Alderman used to bludgeon Maya Tenma. That incredibly inspiring symbol had fallen to the floor. Wait, the inspiring statue? Oh, that one, right, of course. The statue, but why would he find it inspiring? 
Why exactly did you find the statue inspiring? Uh-oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Wait a minute. <laughs> well, when I saw that statue, I felt as if the merger had been realized. It was like a celebration of union between town and village, an inspiring symbol of goodwill. What? Wait a minute. Hold on. Before I forget and lose my train of thought, that's something's wrong here. When was the statue broken? A token of goodwill made in secret, Jinxie is now the only one who knows what the original looked like. Which means statue traces of blah 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 blah. Okay, that's that's from before. Jinxie's the only one who knows what the original looked like, which means if he saw it and he saw it in this manner, inspiring, does that mean that he was there? at the time of the murder, because it wasn't broken before that. <gasps> this could be it, I could be catching him in a lie, but how do I do it? Because this is like a, a piece off, it's like a branch off of the cross-examination. I wonder if they're gonna give me a prompt for it. A broken statue next to a bloody corpse, real inspiring. Wait, what do we do with this information? That's wrong. Well, Mr. Justice, do you consider his statement to be of any importance? Oh shit, here we go. Yes, yes, very important, yeah, 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 yeah. Because it's wrong. We, we're gonna get him right here. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I believe that to be extremely importantly. I, I request that it be added to the testimony. Extremely importantly. Here's where we present it, I bet. Statue had fallen to the floor. It was a token of goodwill celebrating him. Oh, no, dude. Why the frick are you learning? Boy, you are in so much trouble. <laughs> oh, I don't fucking think so. I don't think so, dude. Your lies have finally betrayed you, Mr. LaBelle. <clears throat> oh, this is gonna be good here. What possibly could you mean? You said the statue was like a celebration of union between town and village. Isn't that correct? It is indeed, but what of it? The two yokai are joining hands in goodwill. As if they were celebrating the municipal merger. Oh shit, look at Apollo's face. We freaking got him, dudes. He doesn't realize he fucked up yet. Something's the matter? So, how did you really know that the statue was meant to be a symbol of goodwill again? What? Oh, you got nothing? Justice Dono, explain yourself and make it quick. Why are you in such a hurry? You always gotta pee or something? You one of them small bladder people? Listen, I feel for those people, all right? This statue was meant to symbolize goodwill in its original form, but that was a secret. A secret? Whatever do you mean? What I mean is that it broke when someone used it to strike Mayor Tenma on the head. What's left clearly makes it look like the two yokai are battling it out. <gasps> the statue's secret and its true form were lost inside that locked room. For Miss Tenma is the only living soul who should know what it once looked like. So, Mr. LaBelle, where could you have possibly seen the statue in its original form? Whatever it is, he's gonna lie about it, I bet. What do you mean, where? The only possible answer is this. You saw the statue in its original form. Right there in the room where the alderman was murdered before it was broken. How dare you? Oh shit, the music. Mr. Justice, are you accusing the witness with some sort of crime? What do you mean, Judge, where have you, are you falling asleep over there? Wake the fuck up, dude. Yes, yes I am. Florent LaBelle, I accuse you of the murder of Alderman Rex QB. Uh. Oh shit, Joker, what you gonna do now, boy? Oh, you in trouble. Here we freaking go, though. Order, order. Mr. LaBelle, you've been accused of murder. Do you have anything to say in your defense? Nothing? You need to stop spraying that shit on yourself. How could you possibly accuse me? The embodiment of beauty. Beautiful people do a lot of stupid shit. Way to go, Apollo. This is the conclusive evidence we needed. Magnifico! We've got you now. We know you killed the Alderman. Now admit it. He's not gone, huh? I, 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 oh, oh. Silence. What now, sir? What's wrong? 
Enough of your silly games, Justice Dono. Of course you weren't gonna let me have this. What's your problem? This prancing peacock could not possibly be the killer. Objection! How do you know that? What are you talking about? His alibi has already crumbled to dust. And I just proved that he was in the fox chamber while it was still locked tight. Silence. You better have a good explanation. You know, if I gotta put forth evidence, so do you, dude. Then that, that's just fair. Why could he have not seen the statue in its true form before the murder? After all, he was close friends with the alderman. I knew that this was gonna come up at some point. I just thought he was gonna say it himself. Ergo. Oh, wee wee wee! So right, I clearly remember it now. Alderman QB told me about it. About what the statue actually looked like. I mean, he was a good friend of mine. <laughs> uh huh. Objection. How, how convenient. Yeah, right. He wouldn't show you a secret gift just like that. Silence. Bitch, you weren't there either. Moreover, it has already been proven that he was not present at the scene of the crime. It has? Got it memorized. Forgotten, have we? Recall the little scamp's statement, if you will. When Jinxie Tenma unlocked the fox chamber, she saw the alderman and the mayor collapse therein, and no one else. Oh, dang it. Dang near, but the fact is it was you two who made that apparent in yesterday's court session. The Slavarland Rebel could not have possibly been in that locked room. <laughs> no. Oh shit, wait, I thought we had him for sure. What do we do? I don't get it. How could Jinxie not have seen LaBelle? The proof is incontrovertible. No room for debate exists. Am I not right? Your boldness? Hmm. It does seem awfully conclusive. The facts point to the defendant and victim being the only people in that locked room. Moreover, the defendant has already confessed. I think I know how she didn't see him, but I think it's too early for this. He was the one dressed up as, uh, as Temetaro, was he not? That could have, that could have been it. That's what I was originally thinking, but I'm not sure now. You cannot defend the indefensible. Your role in a charade is over, Justice Donald. But, 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 what are we gonna do? Your boldness. This trial would last an eternity if we were to keep crossing blades with these simpletons. It is high time you brought down the hammer of justice. A point well made. I believe it's time to declare a verdict. What are we, oh shit, wait, did I fail? This court finds the defendant, Damien Tenma. What? I was gonna say, there's no way, did I, I thought I fucked up. Oh, hello. Wait, how did you get out of jail? Oh no. <laughs> oh, are we really doing this? Oh, we're really doing this. Ten Mataro needs to get on the stand, I think. <laughs> I totally forgot. Well, I guess it was bound to happen. Here's what I'm gonna do though. We're gonna have to talk to the demon himself uh, in the next one, I think. Um, yeah, I guess it was too soon for that to be over. <laughs> uh, I'll get my voice prepared for the crow. It, it, it'll be fine, I'm sure. Guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am and I will see you soon in the next episode. Toodaloo.